Hello Paleans and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Cat Fantastic and you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash the Cat Fantastic with even more Paleo content. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. So when you get into advanced gardening, and this is not a beginner's guide, so you need to have all nine of your garden plots to really maximize this. But when you get to that point, what you want to do is get about 36 rice seeds, 30 tomato seeds, 30 wheat seeds, and 30, no, I lie, 60 potato seeds. And you're going to start laying it out like this. So the first row, if we start over here on the left, you're going to go tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato. Okay, that is your first row. Then the next row, you're going to go for wheat, rice, wheat, rice, wheat, rice, and so on. Then the row after is going to be the reverse of the first row. So it's going to be potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato. And then the row after that effectively repeats this first plot. So if you're thinking row four is going to match row one, so you're going to go tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato, potato, tomato. And then you're going to go again, matching the first set of three plots. You're going to go for wheat and then rice and then wheat and then rice and then wheat, rice, so on and so forth. So the next row over matches again the first one. So you're going to put your tomato here, here and here and here with potatoes in between and then you start again just as you did the first one so tomato potato tomato potato obviously this is going to be your wheat rice wheat rice and then you end slightly differently with tomato potato tomato again Okay, so let's fill out the rest of this with what we need. So your tatty bows are going in between your tomatoes. Tatty, tatty bows. And it's always worth, because you can't pull something up, there's no way at the moment to dig out a crop. So it's always worth just taking your time to make sure <laughs> you don't mess it up so you can go line at a time or a couple of lines at a time and just make sure that your mouse is pointing at the cube that you want before you fill it in so that wraps up the potatoes and tomatoes and then what you want to do on these remaining lines is to go wheat, rice, wheat, rice. So we're going to go for wheat seed. This is going to be wheat, rice, wheat, rice, wheat, rice, wheat, rice, wheat. And then the same again here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. And again here. And what this layout enables you to do is minimize watering because tomato placement allows you to hydrate the seeds above, below, left and right. So they will stop needing watering. It also then allows you to kind of maximize the growth of each of the plots or spots on the plots if you prefer. And it allows you to kind of maximize the overall produce that you know that you're going to get out with kind of growth bonuses so all of these remaining spices will be filled with rice now 
Obviously, you'll see that I've got quite a bit of remaining seed. That's because the growth rate of these plants is different in terms of the number of days things take to grow. So what you need to bear in mind is that for each Paleon day, now Paleon days start at 6 a.m. in game and roll through to 6 a.m. the next game day. So you've got basically from 6 a.m. Paleon morning to water, weed, tend to your crops until it hits 6 a.m. again. That's a Paleon day. And obviously on some of the days, what you'll find is some of these things are grown, you pick them up and then you replace it with the seed that you've got left over. So just to recap, that's 36 rice seeds, 30 tomato seeds, 30 wheat seeds, and 60 potato seeds, and a full harvest, so a complete clear down of all nine of these plots will take 10 in-game days. So all you've got to do is between 6 a.m. and 6 a.m. again, the next Paleon day, pop back, check that everything's watered, and check that everything is weeded. Now, if you have already upgraded your watering can to the fine watering can, you'll notice you can stand in the middle and water all nine squares at once, which makes watering a lot easier. And that, folks, is how to maximise the growth of your veggies, get a really high amount of sustainable produce, and of course, remember that the seed should be self-sustaining. So get as many seed aspirators as you can, pop those veggies in there, keep it topped up so that you're producing many, many seeds. Uh, and of course, seed often sells for more than the vegetable itself as well. And then of course, any surplus veggies that you can't get into the seed machines, chuck it out for sale and you'll be making money, 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 money in no time. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you did. And you can follow me, The Cat Fantastic, across the internet at The Cat Fantastic in all the usual places. See you next time.